today i discuss one important topics related to system of linear equation okay we we'll also discuss important topics in algebra today we we'll discuss this topics okay so we write it in this way okay the system of equation the system of equation okay system of equation a11 x1 a12 x2 dot 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 a1 in x in equal to b1 understood and a21 x1 a22 x2 plus dot 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 a2 in x in equal to b2 okay and then dot 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 here a m1 x1 a m2 x2 plus dot 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 a m in x in equal to b in understood for a i z equal to for a i z for a i z and b i for a i z and b i okay for one less than equal to i less than equal to m and one less than equal to j one less than equal to n are scalar in a field if are scalar in a field if in a field if okay and x1 x2 xn are n variables and x1 x2 dot 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 xn are n variables okay taking values in if taking values in if okay and it's called a it's called a system of m linear equation system of m linear equation in in unknowns okay over the field if over the field if understood that means for a i j and b i are scalar in a field if and x1 x2 x in n are in variables taking values in if is called a system of m linear equation in n unknowns okay over the field if understood then what happened then the m cross in matrix the m cross in in matrix where it is that portion and going to further discussion of that okay the m cross in matrix the m cross in matrix a equal to a11 a12 dot 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 a1 in a21 a22 dot 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 a2 in here am1 am2 dot 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 amn okay is called the coefficient matrix is called the coefficient matrix okay it's called the coefficient matrix of the given system okay then what happened then if we let x equal to 
if we let x equal to here x1 x2 dot 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 x in and b equal to and b equal to p1 p2 bn okay then the system may be then the system then the system may be written as a single matrix equation written okay rewritten as a single matrix equation okay single matrix equation here ax equal to b understood then what happened then we are going to a solution to the system system is an n table a solution to the system a solution to the system is an is an n tuffle is an n tuffle is equal to here we write s1 s2 dot 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 is in okay belongs to fn belongs to fn such that such that a is equal to b okay such that a is equal to b then what happened then we erase our portion and we write the system is called consistent we erase this portion and going to discussion of that okay system is called consistent system is called consistent consistent if if its solution set is not empty if its solution set is not empty understood and otherwise it is called instance inconsistent otherwise it is called inconsistent inconsistent okay that means system is called consistence if its solution set is non-empty and otherwise it is called inconsistent now we are also going to one example to clear this that means definition okay we're going to an example so we write here example okay we consider the system x1 plus x2 equal to 3 and x1 difference x2 equal to 1 okay then we can solve the preceding system and conclude that there is only one solution. We are also going to solution x1 equal to 2 and x2 equal to 1. Understood? That is, that is, that is what? That is s equal to 2, 1 is equal to 2 1 okay and in matrix form in matrix form okay the system can be written as the system can be written as okay 1 1 1 minus 1 here x1 x2 equal to 3 1 understood then we write it that means so a equal to what 1 1 1 minus 1 and b equal to what 3 1 okay 
so in this OA we also the miss get this required solution this one x1 equal to 2 and x2 equal to 1 okay now we erase that portion and going to further discussion of that okay here we mark this b and consider consider what 2x1 plus 3x2 plus x3 equal to 1 and x1 difference x2 plus 2x3 equal to 6 that is that is 2 3 1 1 minus 1 2 equal to 1 6 okay here x1 x2 x3 x1 x2 x3 equal to 1 6 then is equal to minus 6 2 7 and obviously and again is equal to 8 minus 4 minus 3 okay are the have many solution okay has many solution of the of the given system okay of the given system have many solution okay so again we consider another system of linear equations okay so there we see that these two are mm, solution of the given system okay now we erase that portion and going to further discussion of that okay then uh, get what we get this one we considered here x1 plus x2 equal to 0 and x1 plus x2 equal to 1 then what happened that is that is 1 1 1 1 x1 x2 equal to 0 1 okay then what happened then also then the system has no solution the system has no solution okay Thus, we see that a system of linear equation can have one. Thus, we see that the system of linear equation, the system of linear equation, equation may have, that means can have, okay one many one many or no solution or no solutions okay then we are also going to discussion about that okay what we discuss now that means homogeneous system and non homogeneous system okay then what happened we also discuss we erase that portion and going to further discussion of that okay A system a x equal to b of of a linear equation of 
Team linear equation. Okay. Of team linear equation in n unknowns. In n unknowns. Okay. Is said to be homogeneous. Is said to be homogeneous. Homogeneous e p equal to zero. Understood. And otherwise, the system is said to be non-homogeneous. Otherwise, the system is said to be non-homogeneous. Okay, non-homogeneous. Understood? Then not a problem at all. So we divide the system homogeneous system and non homogeneous system and we also known about the system of linear equations have that means one solutions many solutions and no solution now we're going to discussion about one theorem we write this statement of this theorem first okay let ax equal to zero okay be a homogeneous system be a homogeneous system of m linear equation of m linear equation equations in n unknowns in n unknowns okay over a field if over a field if let k let k denote the set of all solutions k denote the set of all solutions set of all solutions 2ax equal to 0 2ax equal to 0 then then k equal to nullity of l a okay and hence and hence k is a subspace of fn k is a subspace of fn okay of dimension of dimension and in difference rank of LA rank of LA okay equal to what equal to in difference rank of E understood Let ax equal to 0 be a homogeneous. Let ax equal to 0 be a homogeneous system of m linear equation in un, n unknowns over a field a. And let k be denote the set of all solutions to ax equal to 0. Then k equal to what? k equal to nullity of la. And hence k is a subspace of fn. Okay, A is a subspace of Fn of dimension, this one, N difference rank of LA, okay, and here N difference rank of A. So, how this one happens, we also discuss now, okay. Now, we write here in above, how this one happens. That means, we prove here, to clearly prove right proof how we prove that okay clearly clearly k equal to what k equal to is belongs to fn such that a is equal to b sorry a is equal to zero is given non homogeneous system okay then what happened this one equal to nullity of l a understood here e is yes belongs to a sort then l a okay then nullity of l a 
and obviously then k equal to nullity of l a and we write it in this way that means if k is a subspace of f n then then k has dimension but n difference rank of l a okay that means p k is a subspace subspace of k is a subspace of f n okay of time then then dimension of k equal to dimension of k equal to dimension of nullity of l a okay equal to n difference dimension of range of dimension of range of l a okay equal to what equal to obviously here that means rank of l a okay equal to n difference rank of l a understood so we also discuss this one we erase that portion and going to further discussion of that okay so here we write in this way here n difference rank a okay then what happened then we write it corollary okay we write it corollary okay then what happened if m less than n if m less than n then the system the system a x equal to zero has a non-zero solution has a non-zero solution okay so we now discuss this proof of this corollary okay so we write it proof here and we're going to prove of that okay so what happened suppose that suppose that m less than n then what happened then rank of a equal to then rank of a equal to rank of l a okay less than equal to m and hence what happened hence hence dimension of k equal to okay dimension of k equal to n difference rank of k equal to what equal to n difference n difference rank of l a okay and greater than equal to what n difference m okay and obviously this one greater than c understood we write it in this way here not here in this way this one greater than equal to n difference m greater than c understood so what happened here so we write it and this one we finish our portion and going to discussion about that okay okay what do we write for for k equal to nullity of l a and since dimension of k greater than zero since dimension of k greater than zero then what happened k not equal to this zero okay thus there exists a non-zero vector is thus there exists a non-zero vector is okay belongs to k belongs to k so s is a non-zero solution to so s is a non-zero solution to 
ax equal to 0 okay so we get a non-zero solution okay if m less than n then the system ax equal to 0 has a non-zero solution we also get this one okay how we do this we also that means suppose they then this one then rank a less than equal to m then dimension of k equal to what dimension of k equal to n difference rank a then n difference rank l a greater than zero that means dimension of k equal to nullity of l a greater than zero then there exists a non-zero vector s so that a x equal to zero okay so we get this one now we also that means going to be one ex example related to that mm, that means mm, corollary okay we erase that portion and going to discussion about one example related to that corollary okay so we also discuss now now we erase the whole portion and going to further discussion of that so we write it now we write this system of equation x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 equal to 0 and here x1 difference x2 difference x3 equal to 0 okay then a equal to what a equal to 1 2 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 understood then what happened then be the coefficient matrix of this system and rank of a equal to 1 rank of a equal to sorry 2 okay then what happened if k be the solution system the dimension of k dimension of k equal to 3 difference 2 equal to 1 understood and then what happened here 1 minus 2 3 hence 1 minus 2 3 is a solution is a solution is a solution to the given system okay is a solution to the given system understood then what happened this one is a basis okay 1 minus 2 3 is a basis is a basis okay is a basis for k is a basis for k then what happened then we also think about thus any vector in k is of the form thus any vector in k okay thus in any vector in any vector in k is of the form is of the form what t into 1 minus 2 3 equal to what here t minus 2 t here 3 t okay but t belongs to r not a problem at all understood or not that means we also take any system of equations and corresponding matrix rank of corresponding matrix then dimension of k and this one is a solution this one is a basis for k and then thus any vector in k is of the form this one understood so not a problem at all we discuss the related problems of corollary okay so we also understand this corollary in a far far way now um, today we we'll stop here so if you get this type of video please subscribe my channel if you give like please click on live option and if you have any question comment suggestions write it in comment box so today i stop here thank you